only 10 percent of uh, 140 million farms that are in India have ever done soil health uh, testing. This is like saying only 10 percent of our population has ever gone to a doctor. India over the past uh, couple of decades has actually become an enormous food exporter, one of the biggest food exporters in the world, but they're doing it at really low efficiencies. Relatively speaking, they're about half as efficient as developed world con counterparts. There's a lot of small acreage farmers in India, um, and a lot of them are either using the wrong type of fertilizer or the wrong amount of fertilizer. So what that means is that the nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium ratios in the soil are really skewed and we and the, the downstream problems of that is that excess fertilizers leach into the water supply, we have groundwater contamination in this, and of course farmers are spending a lot of their money applying fertilizers and pesticides that they don't necessarily need. A lot of them are very interested in being able to test their soil so they can use fertilizer more efficiently, um, but they don't really have a method to do so right now. Our side of the project is to design and build a, a way of measuring soil health and getting quantitative data about the chemistry of the soil itself. Indian farmer has always had a way of knowing about soil health. You know. That's why they have survived. So it's important to start by learning what they know about uh, how to gauge the health of your soil. Ultimately, any solution that we propose is for them and needs to be used by them. So it's really valuable to have their inputs at an early stage in the design because a lot of the time the way we think is very different from the way they think. And a, and a lot of the input that they have is stuff that we never would have thought about. So it's really important to interact with them early on.